First of all, a product will be represented by the 3D model. Let's have a look how Kitech uses these structures to create a bill of material. The relation between 3D design and product structure is preserved at any time. I want to use an existing assembly to derivate a new assembly from it. The typing of the initial letters reduces my first selection. It concerns the hydraulic cylinder and I want to edit the cooling plate, this sub-assembly of the hydraulic cylinder and store it as a new item number in the system. Load in Kitech provides all models that I need for editing in SOLIDWORKS. First, I want to design a new part. I use the function insert and place it on the upper side of the plate. I want to adopt these contours for the design. Also, I want to project the drill contours for my new design. This feature will have the thickness of 2 mm. Back to the assembly, I now want to insert another part from the database. For this, I start a query for documents and use the wildcards to define my search criteria. Here as well, I could use the initial letters to quickly simplify my first selection. This is exactly the ring I need. In the system we can see that this ring contains different configurations. In example, geometry variants or material variants. I can easily drag the file and drop it into my SOLIDWORKS assembly. First of all I select my configuration and after that I place a second ring at the right side. For this ring I need a different material which means I select another configuration of this part ring. The parts are placed in position and I put them into relation. Now I did my changes in the SOLIDWORKS assembly. The completed assembly will be stored back into Keytech now. The store structure in Keytech shows all new components including all external references if available and all changed components. Now I want to store these components and select the plate and for this new plate I want to create a new master item. The name as mandatory field has to be filled. I can use for example a data dictionary to select a standard description. All other attributes have to be filled accordingly before I confirm the item creation. With a second OK, the 3D model data is stored to Kitech. What's left is to store the assembly. It is a released revision of this assembly, but I want to create as new master for the assembly similar to the idea of save as. After I have defined my store options, I'll start the storage process. Let's take a look on the result. In the model structure we can see the new cooling plate, the new metal seal which we did create earlier, and the ring which was inserted. In the bill of material we also find our new positions. Let's take a look in the related drawing now. I use the function load to load the drawing in SOLIDWORKS. Of course it was updated in SOLIDWORKS automatically, but the position numbers are missing. With a single click they are added in SOLIDWORKS and placed at the desired positions quickly. The user decides now if the position numbers are defined by the drawing or by the bill of material. This way I can for example assign position numbers in the bill of material and transfer them automatically to the drawing. An update of all position numbers is executed by a mouse click in Keytech. 
Also, the drawing can be used to assign position numbers. This means changes in the drawing can be transferred to the PDM bit of material via mouse click. You can see that all position numbers were synchronized with the PDM bill of material automatically. This bill of material only contains so far components which were generated from the 3D model. Of course I have the possibility to manually complete the bill of material with components which are not part of the graphical design like packaging, oil or similar. One simple click, we are drag and drop and these components are part of my PDM bill of material as well. You can just copy positions from an existing bill of material and paste them into the current one. You can also insert single items from the tabs that you have just opened. The BOM module offers a lot of comfort in editing bills of materials. Multi-select is a very important feature to edit the bills of material very quickly and easily. I can delete in example multiple items at the same time. I can also change the positions of multiple items and renumber the position numbers. A custom auto filter offers the possibility of a special filter. This filter is provided in every column of the bill of material. Bill of materials created this way now can be exported and handed over in different ways. The easiest way is the Excel output which shows the structure, the first level or the quantity. Also if demanded the bill of material can be printed on the drawing. Position numbers and layouts can be defined freely and can contain, beside the position number, additional information of the master item, like for example the item number. A special print preview helps you to define a layout for the output. Stamps and watermarks can be used to create the desired bill of material layout. In example, a PDF as email attachment or XLS.